want to actually start today's stream, though, doing relatively a basic demo here uh, of, of how to get your lineups out of Sabersim and into the contests you want to play. If you are already familiar with the process of reserving your entries on DraftKings or FanDuel, uh, if you're playing multi-entry and using the entry editor, uh, this probably won't be very useful for you. Uh, but especially for people that are maybe you know just getting into DFS, playing contests for the first time, maybe not even super familiar with that whole process, um, I just want to show at, at a baseline the most basic way to build lineups on SaberSim and get them entered into your contest. So uh, I'm going to do that real quickly here for both DraftKings and FanDuel for tonight's NBA slate, um, just so we kind of have a record of that so we can use this as a reference point. But um, let's go ahead and jump into that. So again, this is going to be more of a strategy. This is going to be better for somebody that's maybe just playing a few lineups or at the very least just entering one contest. So let's say, for example, uh, we want to play three lineups on DraftKings for NBA tonight. So we'll go ahead and start here. We'll assume we're playing a three max, uh, 1,000 to 10,000 or so entrance. Leave the settings here pretty default here. Not going to make too many changes. And we'll just go ahead and start building our lineups. Build these pretty quick. The NBA builder is just so, so fast, which is amazing when you are right up against lock and need to get this done quickly. Uh, we do have to make two changes to a, uh, abide by the DraftKings rules. So uh, maybe what we'll do for this here is let's just go ahead and say that we want to hit lock on Chris Boucher and uh, we don't want to play Julius Randle. I'm just making it up, but let's say those are our two things we want to do. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and click save. And then we're just going to download the lineups. Again, I'm not using the entry editor here. I'll show you the entry editor after this to just show you how much more easy it is. But in this case, we can just download these lineups. So that download is going to get downloaded to my computer. It just downloaded here. And then let's hop over to DraftKings. And we'll go ahead and enter these in here. So if you just want to get your lineups up onto DraftKings, right? Again, easy thing to do here is to just go to the lineups tab up at the top and click upload lineups. This is going to take us to the lineup upload page on DraftKings, and we can click Upload CSV. And I'm just going to upload the lineup CSV that I just recently just, just downloaded off of Sabersim. So we're all set here. Um, it's picking up the three lineups. So we're good there. And now we can go to the lobby. And let's find a contest. So we'll go ahead. I built three lineups, so let's go find a three max here. Um, something low dollar, um, classic. There's normally the hot shot. We'll do the hot shot. Pretty good contest overall. So we'll go ahead and click enter here. And it's just going to go ahead and just pick up all the lineups, right? The three lineups we entered, they're already here. Uh, we can click this to enter them selectively if we just want to do one or two or whatever. Uh, easy thing to do here is to just say enter for $9. Um, we're going to enter all three. So now we can click this. Are you sure? Yep, we're sure. And we're good. So pretty straightforward. Again, this is going to be easiest if you're just trying to play one contest, get your lineups out of SaberSim and quickly onto the site. So we're in. So that's entered now for DraftKings. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for FanDuel. It's slightly different. Uh, if you're not familiar with FanDuel or you're used to playing on DraftKings or something like that can be a little bit different here. So we'll go ahead. Let's go back to FanDuel or let's go to FanDuel in the app. And okay, so here's FanDuel. We're going to do the same thing here. Uh, we'll do again, let's do a three max, uh, 1,000 to 10,000 entrance. We'll just build our three lineups. Builds pretty quickly here, building our full pool of 500. Cool. So we've got our lineups for FanDuel here. We're good to go. We'll go ahead again and just click this download button. It's going to download a CSV right to my computer. You can see that up here. And now let's go over to FanDuel. So FanDuel is a little bit different if you're doing it this way. Instead of uploading the lineups first and then picking the contest that you want to apply them to, uh, in this case, you just go find the contest and, and upload them directly to the contest. So we'll go ahead here, let FanDuel load, and we'll go to NBA. And uh, a good contest for this one will be the SWAT, the $1 3 max. So we're good to go here. 
And we'll go ahead and just click this. It's going to take us to the page where we typically build our lineups if you were entering by hand. But since we have the CSV here, we can just scroll all the way down. There's this upload lineups from CSV button. We can click browse, find the file that we just downloaded from SaberSim and click upload. And it's going to pick up the same thing. Three lineups detected. You need to pay $3 in entry fees to, to do this. I'm going to do that. Click enter three lineups. Congratulations, we are entered in three of three lineups. We can click view my lineups and we will see them here in the upcoming tab. Now, that is at the baseline, I think the most basic way to enter into a contest. Now, if you were playing uh, a lot of different contests, right? Uh, or um, if you just had a lot of entries total, uh, it can be pretty tedious to do this. So we created the entry editor basically to streamline this entire process. So I'm gonna quickly do a, a quick entry editor demo of how much easier this is using the entry editor. Um, and uh, But we have a lot of other tutorials on our site and in the app and things like that that you can check out if you're, if you're still running into issues here. But just to show you how much easier this is with the entry editor, uh, a good example of this is let's say something were to change, right? NBA is crazy. A lot of players getting ruled out all the time. Uh, it's likely that we're gonna have to update our lineups at least some point before lock. So let's say we want to do a rebuild, right? We're gonna we're gonna update something. Uh, maybe James Harden gets ruled out, just for example. So he's he's removed from the pool, and we're rebuilding our lineups here in this case. So let's go ahead and do a new build on the FanDuel side. And we'll do this quickly as a quick demo on the entry editor for both sites here. Okay, so we have our new lineups. Just so it's not confusing, I'm gonna actually rename this here. You can rename up here, which. Uh, can be helpful, we'll say FanDuel final. Let's say this was maybe our final set of lineups before lock. In this case, if we wanna use the entry editor to just quickly update all the entries for the contest that we're now registered for, we can click the entries. We can click this download template file from FanDuel, which is gonna take you right to the right page on FanDuel to download this file. What you wanna do is click the CSV edit button next to any lineup that corresponds to the slate you're playing. So this is the NBA 7.30 p.m. Eastern time main slate. We click CSV edit. We click download a CSV template here. That's again, going to just immediately download that entries file to our computer. We go back to SaberSim. In this case, we can actually just drag and drop the file or upload it using the upload tool, both of which are pretty easy here. And then this is the entry editor. This is uh, our tool of editing your files, your entries files, so you don't have to get your hands dirty in the CSVs or anything like that. And what we can do then is go ahead and click fill contest with lineups. Since we named this, we can clearly identify that it's different than the other builds. So this is the FanDuel final. And in this case, I want a unique, actually it doesn't matter if we use rank or unique fill because both of these are going to be the same for a single contest. So we'll just apply them here. You can see it now is picking up the lineups in this contest are the FanDuel final lineups we just built. And we can download all entries, click download, saves to my computer, and we go back to FanDuel and just upload this file here. Edit entries, and we're good. So uh, quite a bit faster to use the entry editor if you're familiar with it. But of course, if you're just trying to get some lineups in for the first time, uh, maybe a little unfamiliar, not playing a ton of different contests, not playing a ton of entries, um, you can just use the upload lineups from CSV directly on Fandle to get them in. But let's quickly do this on DraftKings as well uh, using the entry editor. So again, we're already entered. We've done our lineups. We've gotten ed into contests, but news has now changed and we need to rebuild some lineups. So uh, we'll do the same thing here. In this case, we can just click download template file from DraftKings. And DraftKings just makes it so it automatically will start downloading or prompt you to start downloading the file. So we can grab the DraftKings one and load it in here. And we see our hotshot, right? It's picking up the exposures that we have in the lineups that are currently in there, but we need to make a change. We need to update something because news has changed. So let's go ahead and start a new build here. And let's go ahead again and make a change here so that we're abiding by uh, DraftKings community guidelines. Let's lock Damon this time. We'll go ahead and hit save. And let's go ahead and call this DK final. Oops, so that we can see this easily in the entry editor. Go back to the entry editor and fill. 
we can fill using the rank fill method. And in this case, I don't have DraftKings already up. So I'm gonna click download and open DraftKings. It's gonna save the file, take us right back to the right page on DraftKings that we need. One thing to note here is that this is a different page than where we originally uploaded the lineups. So we originally uploaded the lineups on the slash lineup slash upload page. This is the en edit entries page. It's, it's different. Uh, this is the page you use when you're already entered into contests. So we'll go ahead and click upload CSV and click the file there. So um, again, just kind of a very basic way here of entering your contest, especially if you're just playing a single contest or, or um, maybe just loading lineups for the very first time. That is the most basic way to do it. And then uh, a quick demo of how the entry editor makes that a lot easier to edit, provided that you're already entered. Um, if you guys are familiar with playing lots of entries, multi-entering, the process of reserving entries and things like that, um, I imagine this wasn't super helpful for you. Maybe you already know this, but uh, if you're new to DFS or new to multi-entry or, or new to SaberSim even, um, hopefully that was kind of a very quick little helpful demo. And if you're ever running into trouble, always feel free to email us at support at sabersim.com or reach out in Slack. So anyway, 